All right, sorry guys, I had to delete delete the video. For some odd reason, it got cut down to only 15 seconds. I don't know what happened. I tried revising it on the editor, but it wasn't working. So the best thing to do for me to do was to just delete the whole thing and start all over. So here you guys go. Here's the new one, or here's the old one, but redone. Sorry guys. All right, good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning. It's a Monday and it's supposed to be a holiday. Aaron called, oh, the lens is always dirty. Aaron called the other day, said that the dock workers called and said to pick up the cars. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go and meet Aaron at the pier. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go down, meet Aaron at the pier and load up six cars, I believe. The 34 is one of them. Um, so I, sh I showed you guys the process, how I do it. Like I said, you could bring in your own cars uh, on your own, but the logistics and all the details behind it is quite um, challenging at sometimes. And I don't wanna deal with that. I'd rather have someone that knows how to work the system that can help me and make things very very smooth especially on the Japan side so let me get in the truck and we'll go down to the pier I'm not gonna meet Aaron at the shop he's gonna grab his truck the flatbed carrier I'll record the flatbed carrier and let you guys see that whole process okay so let's go and get the cars all right it is 6 30 like I said the Sun is in my eyes I can barely see the road Ugh. too early uh, it's kind of surprising that the dock workers are working on a holiday. It's kind of odd. I don't know, maybe they're just backed up and, and they want to get rid of all the cars. Anyway, so I showed you how I went through the process of, well, how I go through the process. And like I said, it really, really helps to have someone that knows the system. It's very important to have someone that can look at the cars on the other end and someone that you can trust that knows what they're doing, um, which is where Shane comes in. Shane knows what to look for in the vehicles. He knows what regions of Japan are high in rust situations, what areas are dry. So that's a big help. Shane will store them either under the covers outdoors or like my 34s in a sealed warehouse covered. So both ways um, his pricings are very very reasonable very very affordable and it's worth it um, if I had bought these cars when I wanted to 10 years ago Wow uh, you could probably make about a hundred thousand dollars per car which is what a lot of guys are doing which is what a lot of guys have saw as far as um, opportunities yeah anyway so we're driving down to the pier. I decided to meet Aaron at the pier instead of driving all the way to his shop. Then both of us go to the pier. Um, I was gonna do a little interview with Aaron um, while we're driving, but I am too tired for this. I was up late last night working, so. Um, the next shot I will show you guys is when I am at the pier. So I'll see you guys at the pier in a little bit. Okay, here we are, Pier 31. Uh, whoa, what is this? Well, where am I? I guess, hey, holy cows. I see it. <laughs> it's right there. Wow. Okay, well, I am going to park here, wait for Aaron. I'm gonna go up to the gate. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting day. All right, uh, let me park and I'll check you guys out in a little bit. Okay, so I'm here. Um, I'm not sure if the camera can zoom in and pick up, but there's a lot of cool stuff that Aaron has to pick up today. All right. I'll show you guys a better look uh, once we get into the security area. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of the driver's side on that thing. So what happens now? Um, so we... Let me just turn this off. 
All right, so we've been sitting here for an hour now um, trying to get the paperwork settled. Uh, so like I said, if you do this on your own, it's gonna be crazy hard. We've been here an hour. There's so many red tapes you gotta run through. Um, customs agents need to inspect the vehicle and sign off on it first. That's a whole separate entity. Then they give it to the dock workers, the stevedores. Their papers have to match those guys' papers. So one little mix-up and things are, yeah, we're, we're stuck here for an hour now. We're gonna wait another hour. <laughs> and hopefully we can start picking up the car. This is beautiful. You mix up on your paperwork and you get sent back. All right, now is the time to load it on the truck and get this project going. So time for some time lapse. God, the battery and the GoPro died so I couldn't it didn't catch anything of the truck I mean of the 34 being loaded onto the onto the carrier that is the most sickest feeling to have a silly battery die anyway um, it is what it is so um, I'm just gonna follow Aaron back to the shop offload the 34 and I'll let you guys see that part
You think so? I can, I can just turn them just a little bit that way so it's like clear them. No, you can move it after. That is it the, the car the 34 is finally here at the shop it'll stay here for the next couple of days until Aaron can get the license plates for me and do all the registration and he does everything like I said to have someone do that for you is just you can't put that into words the, the services that Aaron can do hang on there's stuff on the lens okay that should be it for this video um, I guess the next one you guys will see is on Friday when I actually come and pick the car up and take delivery of it. I will bring my 35 out on that day. Uh, that'll be the first time I'm driving my 35 this year. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it for now. Like I said, Aaron can help you guys with all your needs. If you find a car and you want to import it, he will help you with that. He will do all the paperwork. He will do the transportation. He'll do the shipping. He'll do the, documentati the documentations. He'll do the federal licensing. He'll do all the port fees. So Aaron is worth his weight in gold. Um, like I said, he does have a ton of inventory. If you do want something from his inventory, mention that you saw my video, um, Infinite Projects. Aaron will help you guys out with whatever he has in stock or he can source out for you or you can source it out on your own and he'll do the transporting. All right, so there you go. Um, that's kind of the process that it takes to get a vehicle in to the United States and more specifically into Hawaii uh, so for now today is Monday the car will sit at Aaron's shop until maybe Thursday ish Thursday Friday what needs to happen is that Aaron will take the car on the trailer uh, to the local area I don't know where but he's gonna take it somewhere they need to inspect everything make sure everything is hundred percent legal with the car once that is done, he will get the license plates for me. 
he will plate the car, he'll have everything done. The title will be transferred into a Hawaii title, into my name. Um, yeah, just to have someone that can expedite the whole process of doing that is unreal. I would not want to sit in a line at, at the DMV. I do not want to sit in line at the title company. I do not want to sit in line at all these other places that could give me hassles and tell me that no, something's not right. They will not do it or even worse, send the car will be sent back. That's just part of it, part of the, the process, I guess. If you try to do it on your own, there's little corks and screws that you need to know and the logistics on how to maneuver around that. So um, the next video will be Friday or when Aaron calls me to pick up the vehicle. Um, I finally get to drive my 35. <laughs> I haven't driven that thing in over a year. It's just been sitting in my garage. So until then, thank you again for sticking around with this project. I still got a bunch of things I need to finish with this project and with the Tacoma's projects. I, I have a ton of things. Anyway, thanks a lot everybody. If you do need help getting your vehicles in, if you want to purchase a vehicle from Aaron's inventory, call him up. Call him up or email him or I'll leave some contacts for him or you can email me. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure if you do call Aaron, tell him that you saw my videos and he will help you out in every way that he can. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next project. Thanks, thanks for sticking around everybody.